Folks, <clears throat> today I would like to discuss with you the three aspects of the question one of the viewers of my English videos asked. Probably you might have noticed that I've been publishing more videos these days in Tamil rather than in English because um, the Tamil video viewers uh, ask me more questions. Um, that's the reason. So please ask uh, questions. Um, so unless you ask questions or um, something uh, comes to my mind that I should talk to you on some specific topic, I won't be producing videos because I always feel that uh, I have said everything that I need to uh, communicate to you. So please ask questions if you have any, um, so that I can publish more English videos also. Now, um, she asked me, that viewer asked me um, three things. First of all, in my description of this, um, uh, the view of uh, creation um, in simple language, um, in terms of various instruments, in that video, uh, I didn't mention about uh, the golden light and the white light and so on, the red light. Um, she's right, I missed that. Um, in the first created human being, around that, these three lights are there. There's this white light, um, uh, which gives the, the feeling of I, the separated individual I in the seventh uh, center of the human, first uh, created human body. And uh, the golden light um, um, gives the life principle. It's a life principle. It gives life to the um, uh, whole uh, body. And the third one is this red light that preserves the integrity of the whole body. So those three lights are there uh, around the first created human being. And um, um, she also asked another question. And the question is that um, the sound that, uh, that we hear uh, through our uh, one of our five senses in the human body and also the first created human being. Is that sound same as the one which happened in the kingdom of God, uh, the first thing that happened uh, for the eternal darkness? And the answer is uh, no, they are different. Um, the uh, sound that human beings hear uh, is produced or received uh, by the organ ear um, and also uh, the associated processes of uh, processing energy coming from outside <clears throat> into electrical signals or whatever signals the, um, the ear organ changes uh, in order to communicate with the brain. And the, it, it is this organ, this instrument is different from the one which were created or received the sound form. Um, that first thing that happened, the first change that happened um, on the eternal uh, universal darkness, eternal darkness around me. Um, so the instruments are different, and hence the sound. Uh, uh, is different. The same way the eye, uh, the, the light produced by the eye in the human body and its associated processes is different from the sight of uh, the three lights uh, produced by uh, one of the stages of um, God's creation that is the Maheshwara or God in Christian sense. Because those eyes, the three eyes, the red, the white eye, um, uh, and also the red eye without any pupils inside, uh, that is the organ um, which created, our instrument which created those white light and the red light. And um, the golden light came from my 
um, forehead and uh, I didn't see the form of the eye um, but it came from my um, my forehead by the way um, I just uh, read somewhere in one of the YouTube videos or uh, some book that uh, the third eye the human beings are talking about is in between the two eyebrows um, the um, whereas this uh, golden light didn't come from the center of the two eyebrows uh, it came from somewhere from here some in my from my forehead so it's not same as uh, the third eye location that human beings are talking about anyway so the instrument those three eyes are different and hence the the mm, mm, uh, the three lights uh, generated by that uh, instrument is different um, compared to the instrument, uh, the eye that you have with the pupil inside an associated process. Is that the answer to her second question? And the third question she asked was, um, 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 in Abrahamic uh, literature, scriptures, uh, like, uh, you know, the three Western religions, Islam, Judaism and Christianity, in their account of uh, the creation, um, um, the, it is said that something, the, the, there, is, there is a change that happens after the fall, that is the Adam and Eve ate uh, the, um, the fruit um, uh, in, the, uh, in the center tree in the Garden of Eden, and after that, uh, their entry to um, God, uh, kingdom of God, was prevented and stopped uh, through some kind of uh, fearful sword or some such thing. Mm, whereas um, uh, I didn't uh, mention any such um, um, uh, view or vision. She asked the question, did you experience anything corresponding to that? And I mentioned that in my response to her, um, but also I want to repeat that here so that you all can hear. Um, I said basically uh, in the beginning, uh, uh, the, uh, the seventh chakra was open, as I said in my previous videos, and they were able to, the first created human being was able to um, go to the reach the uh, experience the kingdom of God uh, that is the various stages of um, uh, one God one unknown eternal one um, but uh, afterwards uh, they were so busy with uh, the vision that uh, they experienced uh, through the uh, five senses, uh, you know, all the all the things around um, created over on the top of this eternal darkness, and because of that, uh, they they um, through evolution um, forgot how to um, reach the kingdom of God, and that close to the seventh chakra. So the probably what um, um, uh, the generation account revelation um, told in the Western religious scriptures that is they ate the, um, and the fruit of the uh, tree uh, in the Eden of garden is just that uh, they started um, experiencing. Uh, uh, the, uh, um, the 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 views or visions produced by their five senses and the mind, uh, or they started enjoying it, uh, which is meant by eating the central uh, the fruit in the central tree that they just forgot. I didn't experience any any word uh, preventing. Uh, violently uh, the entry of the first created human uh, being to the kingdom of God. 
but I think the, um, uh, the, the central idea is very, very much seen. They just uh, uh, started enjoying uh, um, the vision of created by the five senses, uh, uh, which is said as uh, uh, enjoying the fruit of the uh, tree in the center of the uh, garden, Eden God, or Garden of uh, Eden. Uh, how do you pronounce that? Uh, whatever it is, I forgot the name of that god. Anyway, the other thing is that um, 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 the, the you know the uh, creation um, in Abrahamic uh, uh, revelation um, says the first created uh, human being was a man. Adam and he created uh, Eve uh, somehow in some account says from his rib or whatever and but I said that uh, the first created uh, uh, human being was a woman um, that was my um, experience uh, which is very different from what um, uh, the Abrahamic uh, scriptures say um, uh, then another viewer asked me, um, um, "How come? How? How? If if it was a woman, then how is it possible that um, um, other other human beings were created from this?" Um, if you uh, Google now, in fact, after uh, he asked me this question, I uh, googled and found out that. Um, um, it is possible for the uh, female uh, form to reproduce itself without the help of the man or uh, the male form. Um, and and uh, I believe uh, uh, that research says that um, the male form cannot reproduce itself, maybe because their chromosomes were uh, uh, asymmetric, that is X, Y um, instead of X, X in the um, uh, female form. Now, after uh, they reproduced through evolution, um, some of the X, X uh, bodies um, would have changed to X, Y through evolution, evolutionary processes. Uh, because they had um, developed um, strength and uh, some kind of a violent nature, uh, fighting with the um, uh, animals and things like that. So their form became more uh, dominated by the strength and the Y chromosome was uh, by evolutionary process created. Uh, that's, that's quite possible. Though I should mention clearly that I, I did not have any vision or any spiritual, direct spiritual experiences of this evolutionary process. I'm just uh, uh, Googling and uh, communicating to you that um, the uh, very much small amount of evolutionary process that I'm, uh, I've just now presented. You can Google and find out and decide for yourself. But uh, from my point of view, the first, uh, my from my spiritual point of view, spiritual experience point of view, the first created human being was a woman. And also, I didn't experience any name for that, uh, though the, the Abrahamic uh, revelation scriptures uh, says uh, that first created human being was called Adam. Um, um, at that time, there was no language uh, at all. Um, um, the language is nothing but an evolution, something human beings created out, out of the evolution. Um, there was no English language or any Hebrew language or any form of language when the first uh, created, uh, when the first human form was created. There were just sounds probably just like the birds. So I didn't have any direct experience of any name being assigned to the first created human being at that time. 
and uh, uh, that's what I want to communicate to you folks uh, today. Um, if you have any questions, please uh, leave a comment and I will respond. And I will urge you to ask me more questions um, and so that I can, if you want, I mean, if you don't have any questions, you don't have to ask me, but um, if you have any questions, please feel free to ask me and I will respond. Otherwise, uh, um, unless uh, something pushes me to talk to you, or some gives me some new topic to talk to you, I won't be producing uh, on my own will uh, um, any English videos uh, because I don't have any such inclination or desire to communicate anything what I have. Only when you ask questions, some new information comes out of my uh, comes out of me, and then I'm trying to communicate that through my English videos. That's what I want to talk to you, folks. I'll talk to you in another video very soon. Hopefully, um, until then, be happy, folks.